anyone that can sit here and say that they can do real true rock star predictions, you know, it, it's a little bit misleading. But I think we've got to look at some key indicators. I think there's no doubt that there's going to be a lot of pressure on the global economy, mm. especially on the Europeans, because I think we'll still see an increase in Europeans investing in Dubai this yes. year. So I think there is a lot of pressure in Europe, and I think there's going to be a lot of pressure in Australasia and North America as well. Dubai has just set itself up again in 2022 to be a really safe haven, whether it's safe safety in regards to your well-being yeah. or safety in regards to investment. Dubai welcomes change and growth yeah. and it's lovely to see that there's more choice and more options for people whether it's housing or mm. you know education or businesses or whatever it is. Off-plan sales are still going through the roof. Anything yeah. that's launched is sold out within hours. Yeah. People still want new properties, new developments. They still have the faith in Dubai and that's really critical. People believe that it will be built. People believe that it will be built within a certain time frame. And people believe that their money will be safe here. Mm -hmm. And that's really, it, the confidence in the market is still high, which is and good. I, a lot of the confidence, again, I think is about the government, you know, putting in a, a more rigid, formal, um, sort of statutory framework to yes. protect investors, to protect people moving here and investing in business, investing in real estate and, 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 and relocating families here. From an apartment point of view, I think you're gonna see a good increase mm. in places like JBR, the Palm. Mm. I mean, there's not many more places to build out in the, in, in the Palm. So obviously the supply is gonna be limited. Places like you know Bulgari Island will continue to see increased demand because Absolutely, of yeah. because of the style, the, the, name. the name of it, of course, um, and then downtown. Foreign investment is still really key at the moment. Yes, you know? it is. And I think that's a carryover, like we were talking about before, carrying over from sort of you know that Q4 2019 and yes. then moving into 20, where Dubai was really open up due to COVID. And people realised, you know, foreigners realised that, man, Dubai is an actual living and breathing cool city now. And it is. It's still so vibrant it and is. exciting yeah. and the growth and the potential here. And, you know, it, having so many visitors um, recently from, from different parts of the world, it really makes you value and just be so grateful to be here. No, it is good. I mean, look, I think this Christmas and the New Year period was another great example where tourism just skyrocketed yes. because, you know, the government has opened it up where other cities are starting to close down again. Um, and again, people are being exposed to an awesome city. Yeah. You know, and again, you look at JBR. I remember JBR in the old days, it was a construction zone. Like you're saying, now it's finished. It's a really vibrant destination. You know, you can yeah, walk along, you can have something to eat, you walk across the bridge into Blue Water. Yes. You've got Ain Dubai sitting there, which is really, really cool. Yes. 